Hello you beautiful smiling people of the internet, I am Imbecile Chris, and welcome to Hawken, which is a game, it's a mech shooter. I've never played a mech shooter before, so this is my first. So, it was actually, it's actually really fun. Um, you are a mech, or you're inside a robot, as some people would say, and you just go around shooting stuff. So yes, Hawken, let's have a look at it. I really like this game, so let's play it. Because... Why else would we play it? Well, oh. well. Oh. You didn't see that. I'll try and pop that out on the video. Oh, don't even know my own password. So yes, let us play Hawken. So first thing you're going to notice is the fact that we have a little mech here. With a little window wiper. Oh, now, now he's gone. But anyway, yes, you can customise him. You can make him look cool. But that costs money and I'm poor. I don't get paid till next week, so... He's gonna cry now. <laughs> anyway, let us play! I'm feeling quite giddy today, which I suppose is the best thing. My favourite mode has to be Siege. Because you've got... There's so much interaction with what's actually going on around you. Let me run down of what happened in this game mode. Um, it's not a straight up capture a flag or anything. It's there's an anti-air missile gun which will shoot down your enemy ship, which is trying to destroy their base. You need to get energy to fuel your ships to launch at their base. But also, you have to keep hold of the anti-air gun to make sure the enemy don't get it and shoot your. But another cool thing is that you can actually see the ships above you. Not only is it on your hood, but it's actually above you, and you can see it launch. So, um. You can also shoot at the enemy ship, like literally look at it and shoot. Kind of like how you can shoot down a um, ra a radar plane in Call of Duty. Um, it's the same sort of thing, but on a massive scale, because it actually has an effect on a, a real effect on how the game will turn out. Um, so you've got at least three things to worry about. You've got to worry about their ship, your anti-air gun, and getting your ship out there. Along with not dying, because I find that very difficult in this game. I suck at it. It's just a really fun game. So, deploy you three, two, one. Origin. But I thought I was using Steam. Anyway, yes. I look at all this information. Time to launch. Look at me, I'm in the back. And I can float. Okay, that is the uh, ship in the sky. Where is it? Okay, that's. I think that's our base. I hope it's our base. It's a nice base. Ah, here we go. You can actually see health of the uh, ship in the air. And you can physically shoot the ship, which is very cool if you ask me. So we're going to go and shoot it. See, oh, I can hit it. So now if you excuse me, I have some killing to do. Ha ha ha. I can fly. It's so cool. A bit of back. It's real stick because no one can argue about how you die. <laughs> see, just, he didn't even see me coming. Literally. He actually didn't see me. Read shield. Just hope that nobody sees me. That was most definitely so. And the ship's getting to our base. What is this ship? Get it. Shoot at this ship! Damn it. Okay, yeah, the thing is you have unlimited ammo, but you can overheat, which is never good. You don't want to overheat. Um, yeah, see, the thing is, it's a very team-coordinated game, because um, people can team up and take you down really easily, because you can't turn your sensitivity on your mouse up to maximum. You still have a limited turn speed, which makes it feel a lot fairer. So, well, I can turn sensitivity from a mouse, look, and it will turn, it, it turns slightly faster. But it doesn't turn that fast. Putting it back to the sensitivity I usually have it at, it's more or less the same speed. Because it is a machine. And this makes it feel a lot more fair, because in Call of Duty you get people who can still somehow see at only 30 frames per second spinning around 180 degrees and shooting people without actually zooming in, which is 
not actually possible, it's just sheer luck. Or timing, because, you know, if you get if you know where the person is, you turn around, and then they're still in the same place, aren't they? I don't know how people do it. But, uh, yes. Time to secure this anti-air gun. Where do you go? Damn it! I told you I'm not good at this game. Woo! Under that bonus! Okay, yeah, so you need to get these things called energy units. Um, the ones which you'll get from dead enemies aren't very useful. But uh, any anything is nice, so. As I said, I'm not very good at this game. Holy crap, I only have people on this team. Holy crap, Holy crap, sticks. Ah, ah, this is not useful whatsoever. Ah, oh, more energy. That's useful. That is very useful. Which, who's battleship? Was it ours? I hope it was. <laughs> anyway, now I've maxed up my tank. It uh, seems like a very good opportunity to run home like a baby. Well, it's not like a baby. I'm delivering stuff. Yeah! So, ah, deliver the energy. The energy which is needed to launch one of our ships. Unfortunately, we don't have any defenses to keep that ship in the air. But what the hell? We might as well do it because I have an opportunity to. And that's very rare because I'm not usually very good at this game. You should be able to see in the bottom right corner that I am depleting energy. It's not my own personal energy, it's energy used to fuel ships. So we can attack the enemy base. It's a very cool game mode. I like it. It feels very innovative to me. I should review this game. I have so much to talk about. Don't ask about story though, because I have no idea what's going on. I actually don't. I don't think there is a story. I hope there isn't. You can also detonate things in midair when you have missiles, because most people are going to be playing with the rookie drum thing. So, you know, anything I do here, you'll probably be getting. N wrong one. I needed to repair. Damn it. See, you can repair in the middle of a battle, but um, it makes you really vulnerable, because bullets are going to deplete your energy faster than it, you're making it up. So that was a pretty stupid thing of me to do there. But, anyway... We're not gone forever. Our base is still there. Somehow, I come back from the dead constantly. This feels like Dota. What? What even is the story behind most of these multiplayer games? Like, Planet Side 2, there's a story, but who cares? Why are these giant mechs all running around like headless chickens? Where is that mech? There's one right next to me. I don't see it. Oh crap, there's like eight of them in the base. I'm running now. Don't mind me, don't mind me, don't mind me, don't mind me. <laughs> Leave me alone. That should be useful. There we go. That should hold off some enemy fire. Aha, I see you! Aha, you think you can, you think you can tailgate me? I think again! I am your master now! Whoever you are, come back here! Oh crap, he led me into his friends! No! I hate it when people do that! Damn it! It's like every fight in high school! You know, don't have fights in high school, I'm kind of a pacifist. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we can't be bothered getting into the air, so screw that shit. Um, let's go find a place to shoot that ship.
We're not gonna get the NTS, so this is probably our best bet. Listen to the epic music intensify. Damn it! And we lost! But we may as well have a second game. But to save time, I'm going to put it into part two. So, thank you for watching. You beautiful man, beautiful internet. If you like this video, like it. If you want to talk about it, comment on it. I don't know. We'll do whatever you do. Check out my other channel. I interview Syndicate. He's a nice guy. I don't really watch much of the videos, though, to be fair. I may have did it to get his opinion and advice from other people. I feel awkward. Well, that might. Well, it wasn't my. It wasn't my best day. I'm not going to lie, because I, I, I kind of said something which could have been me. But yes, I'll speak to you all soon. So, yes, I hope you enjoyed the video and see you soon. Oh, look, that nice work team. Yeah, I'll show you who's boss next level. Ha! Ah!